Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny, and I am back with, you guess it, a poke doodle video. <laughs> so, okay, I switched it up a little bit, and I hope you guys are cool with this, because um, normally I do like 50,000 things of everything, so today I just kind of wanted to focus on um, the dyes and the paper, and believe it or not, guys, shockingly, there's no Winnie, there's no Rubies, there's none of the girls. <laughs> it's just me, the dyes, and the paper. So, I, as always, will list everything I used in the description bar below. So, go check it out if you want to um, see or purchase anything that I used. And... Yeah, so let's just get started because I'm just excited. All right, so I was thinking of what I could do. And if I were smart and I really thought about it in great detail, I would have done things a little differently. Meaning, I made an envelope and I should have made a card that went with it or maybe the note cards that went with it or matched and I did not do that. So um, I was trying to think of what I could do that I haven't done yet. And it dawned on me, I have this um, die in my stash. Um, I want it to be all polka doodles, but I really have to work on my collection of polka doodles. So I, I'll get there. I, I will get there one day. But for right now, I made no cards. And then I tried to decorate them with the dies that I have from polka doodles. So we'll go through those first. And I will show you the dies that I use. And I also used a stamp. I only used one stamp, but uh, it's no, actually I used two stamps. I'm lying already. <laughs> okay. So for the note cards, they're just honestly a simple note card. I, for myself, I use a ton of note cards when I just want to send something really quick, you know, a small little, Hey, I'm thinking of you. Um, I use note cards all the time. So I thought, why not make them? Or you can even use them as embellishments. You don't, they don't even have to be a note card. You can just cut off this part and just use it as an embellishment and put it on a project. Either way, you have two uses out of it, so go with it. So for these, um, I did two with the birdhouses. So the birdhouse is this die, and I love this, guys. Oh, my God, this is one of my favorite dies. And it also comes with a stamp. And the really cool thing about this is that when it cuts out, the door opens. And I've used this in prior videos and, and on prior projects, but because it was so small and I really wasn't using my brain, I didn't put anything behind the door. Um, but you could put a little flower back there, anything you want. Um, you know, you can stamp a little hello, however you want to do it. So it, this cuts out here. Actually, I have, well, it's on the same thing, but... So it, this cuts out, and then you use the stamp right here and stamp it on. So that's exactly what I did. And one of my other favorite, and I mean absolutely favorite, uh, dies from them, and th this I've had from the beginning, is this one. The fil I guess you call it filigree? I, I, I don't know, uh, leaves, whatever. Cuts out beautifully. So this, I used it in three different colors, and I love, 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 love this. Wait till you guys see this on its own. OMG, it's just so dainty and beautiful and I just love it. So I cut it out in the glitter paper and in pink and then also in the green and I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and it looks beautiful with everything. So I use this dye a lot. I think um, almost on every one of them but two, I believe. So I use this die and this die and loving them. So this is the first one that I made. And then I just had these um, little birdies in my stash. So I threw them on here. Now this paper comes from this paper pack here. And again, I will leave everything in the description bar so you guys can find everything easily. I promise. Um, and then this was just a word that I had in my stash. So you can open it up. You can write whatever you want on the inside. You can just stamp a hello or I love you or I missed you. Just thinking of you, ho however you want to do it. And I just think they came out adorable and they sit so cute on your desk or your table. Um, I just love it. So I did this one and then I did this one. I just thought it was cute. And then I used, like I said, the, I guess you call it filigree. I don't know. 
Again, same concept. You can just sit on your desk. It is so super cute. I love it. I love the way these came out. I'm really, really happy with these. Then I switched it up and still you, um, oh, and also this is um, the paper. This paper right here is also from the same, sorry, from the same pack. It's this paper right there. Um, so again, I'll leave all that in the um, description bar. Then I switched it up and did some flowers. Now these are flowers that I were gifted in a happy mail. Absolutely beautiful. Love them. Again, all of the paper is from Polka Doodles. So this is from, is it from the same paper pad? No, this one is from, hold on a minute guys, sorry. I'm making a mess. <laughs> My wire's getting caught on everything. Okay, so this beautiful paper is this one right here. Love it, absolutely love it. So again, I will put all of the information in the description bar. And then again, I use the real light um, die right here and I cut it out in the pink and then that glitter paper and then I did the stickles on just the ends of the leaves on the pink and then on the end of each point of the flower. And I just think it came out beautiful and then I did the bird and the bow. And again, just sitting on the table, it just looks so pretty. I mean, you don't have to be that low, but I just, I love them. I love the way it came out. I just think they are so cute. This one seems very plain next to the other ones, but again, this is the paper from um, Polka Doodles, and that one is from the Stampin' Unicorn, and that is this paper pad, or paper pack, whatever. Um, so I will, again, leave all of that information in the description below. But yeah, so I used another one of those flowers. I had this in my stash, so I stuck it on there, and then I just did the three... Again, I'm just going to say these because I don't want to say the wrong thing. But I, I do. I love, love, love this die. I just think it's so pretty. Obviously, you've seen me use it in almost every one of them. So there's another one that I love. And then the next two. Well, let's go with this one. So this one is the same um, paper pad, the Stampin' Unicorn. It's this piece right here um, is what I used on here. And I'll open it up so you can see it. It's just so pretty. And then this one is from the new um, collection, the die collection. And that one is this die right here. And I love this. I've used this several times already. Um, and this is the actual picture of it. But this is the actual die. And that's this right there. Love the way it came out. I think it came out so super adorable. Um, again, loving the new releases for the dies. Oh my God. They are just all, I'm all about them. <laughs> so, and then also in this, um, stamp, there's a hello. So I just right here, I stamped a hello right there. I thought it was perfect. It looks really cute. It's not that busy. I cut out, um, the die right here in black. And then I cut it out in this really pink, a uh, really pretty pink and gray paper. Um, and then just put them together and put it on here. And then I put this really pretty um, acrylic bow. And then again, you open it, you could do whatever you want with it. And it looks adorable sitting on, I hope you guys can even see this, sitting on a table or a desk or whatever. So super adorable, loving that. And then another, die, so I used the same die as the one before, but then I used the one of the butterfly stamps, which is this one. Oh, uh, die, sorry, not stamp. Ah! So this is another one from the new collection this year. Oh my God, they are just amazing. So I used this one right here for here. And then I used um, this die again. And I just did it in the pale pink. And then I took the hello one more time with the stamp and I just put the, oh, my paper's shedding. <laughs> and I put the hello here. And then these little dots right here. Oh my God, guys, I am so in love with this stuff. It's not from Stan, um, uh, polka doodles but it's this it's um rangers liquid pearls omg loving them this is the first time i used it and i i did i had i went a little crazy but that's okay <laughs> but again super adorable open it up you can just stamp a sentiment write a little note whatever you want to do loving the way that these came out and again this paper is from the same thing the unicorn the Stampin' Unicorn. 
So I'm just loving it. Their paper is amazing. Their dies, their stamps, all of their products are incredible. But you guys already know that and you already know that I think that. <laughs> so there. So then the last thing I made, and I'm not... Okay, I love the way it came out, and then I'm not sure. I think I screwed it up, and I'll, I'll explain. So I made this a beautiful envelope, and again, using this, um, unfortunately, this flower paper is not from Polka Doodles, but the orangey peach color behind it is, and that one is from this paper pad and it's this paper right here i love it oh my god it is so pretty and it's not really that it's orange but i don't know how to explain it it's just such a pretty shade of it so i used this one and again everything will be in the description so i basically made the envelope with that paper then i used the new butterfly dies i used this one which is this beautiful baby right here and i've used these in other videos so you guys know I did it in gold and then I use the smaller one right here and the this one so I don't know if you can see it so the the solid gold one is under and then this one right here is on top of it and then I just put um, flat back pearls in the center so now what you can't see very well is I took another one of the new dies from the new release and it's this one. Oh, I am so in love with this. I'm in love with all of them. Oh my God. So I took this die and you can kind of see it. So when you open it up, um, it I did it in the corner here and then I put the butterfly on it. So it's kind of hard to see, but when you turn it around, oh my God, look at how beautiful that looks. So I put the die right here in this corner. And like I said, this is just um, a piece of paper from another paper pad I had in my sash um but yeah I just love the way this came out so I couldn't line them up together in gold because they don't match up that way so what I did was I put the stickles in the center of the flowers on the the paper so I just stickled the back of that so when it in the front it looks pretty and it looks like it matches so I'm loving the way this envelope came out I think it's super adorable there's so many things you can do with it um, and use it for. So yeah, those are my creations from the new releases and a few of the dies from um, older releases and the paper. Oh my God, you guys, I just love polka doodle stuff. I really do. I get so excited. Oh my God. So I'm still working on some stuff. I will have another video up soon. And I'm hoping that you guys like this. So like I said, I will leave all of the information in the description bar below if you want to save some money if you want to make a purchase or two or three um <laughs> you can use my code which is jenny j-e-n-n-i-e 15 jenny all in caps um and again i will leave that in the description bar below so if you want to make an order you are generously given 15 percent off um it does nothing for me it's just for you guys to give you you know, a little help and a, and a, a little love from Nikki. <laughs> so yeah, guys, go check out Polka Doodles if you haven't checked them out already. Um, they have so many amazing things in the store. They constantly have new things coming in. Um, so yeah, and, and also their digis are incredible. Um, and yeah, so just go check them out. They have incredible stuff. And, and I just can't say enough amazing things about polka doodles so go check them out i will leave everything in the description bar below again don't forget to use my code if you want to make a purchase and also that's what i wanted to say um they have uh, facebook groups and they have challenges that are in the facebook group so guys all of that information anything you need to know about polka doodles or what they have going on or where you can go it's all in the description bar so please go check it out there's links you can just click on it it'll take you right to it um we would love to see you guys in the um, facebook groups if you're into that um and just share all of your wonderful creations with us that that would be phenomenal so definitely check out the information below and i will see you guys on my next video love you guys see you soon bye